I'm Ben, and you're currently watching Ben Macho. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel, guys. I told you I'll be posting every Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, and Sunday. I ain't missing a day in December. I'm not missing a day no more, guys. Every day from now on, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, and Sunday, I'll be posting, guys. So stay tuned to the channel every time around 12 o'clock. So stay tuned to the channel, guys. And we have a giveaway going on. All you guys got to do, subscribe to the channel, turn on post notifications, follow me on Instagram, badmantra underscore, and comment done on the giveaway video. Not this video, the giveaway video. That's all you guys got to do to enter. And we will be picking a winner at 1,000 subscribers. I know we can do it before the end of the year, guys. And thank you for 100,000 views, guys. Thank you so much. And let's get into today's video. So today's video is the Nike Vapor Max versus the Nike Flyknit Racer. Let's see what one is the bang for your buck. So let's start out with what these have in common, guys. They both have Flyknit, but they are different Flyknits. I'll talk about that in a minute. They both have Flyknits. They both have a Flyknit tongue, and that's basically it. That's all they have in common is the Flyknit upper. So the difference is that this is more stretchy in different areas. This Flyknit is different, uh, is stretchier. Let's take this out. The Flyknit is stretchier in different areas. As you can see, it's stretchier. The tongue is stretchier. This is a stretchier. And it's stretchier in different parts. You can kind of feel it. And they have a hyperfuse around the toe cap and throughout here. As in these Flyknit racers, they don't have no hyperfuse toe cap. And it's just type of, it's not stretchy. It's just like a hard fly knit. But it is comfortable once you break it in and all that. And see, it's not stretchy at all on here either. And the tongue doesn't stretch at all compared to the racer. Where you can just pull that and it stretches easy. Another thing that they don't have in common is the laces. I thought the laces would come from the racer, but it's not. It's like a fatter type of lace. It's a thicker type of lace compared to this one. This is a really thin compared to this one. It's like double the size of it and it's hollow in the inside. And you get Vapor Max on the tips and you don't get nothing on the racer tips. The Vapor Max is wider from the racer. As you can see, it's wider. I'll show you guys uh, detailed angles of it. It's definitely wider. Uh, something else about the Flyknit guys, it's different. It's engineered differently. Like, everything on here is flat, guys. Imagine a uh, Flyknit racer, guys, doubled. Like, double Flyknit. Because this is very padded. The Flyknit feels padded and thicker for some reason. And I really like it. It's thicker Flyknit compared to the racer. Because you can see right through this. You can kind of see right through this. But not really. A major difference is the bottoms, guys. Now, everyone said the racer was comfortable when they first got it, and it was. This was like, one, I think these were the most comfortable shoes when they were out. And now, I think we have to pass it over to the Vapor Max, guys, for the reason that this is all air. And I, people probably think it's a gimmick, but it really is not. Because this, guys, you can feel it from heel to toe to the racer. You got a heel, and that's all you're going to feel. And you're going to feel some right here, but not like all over. There's a zoom bag right in the middle of this, but it's comfortable and you can wear it all day. It's not going to hurt your feet and it is light, but this shoe is lighter and it's hard to imagine because of all this um, plastic and air on it, but it is lighter and you can definitely feel how light it is. What else? What else? Um, you got the same type of vapor max and you got the same type of pull tab right here. Um, let's talk about the fit of these. The fit on these, I got a 10 in these. I got nine and a half in these. And these fit me perfectly, guys. And a 10 fits me perfectly in these. So I would recommend go true to size on these and go down to size on these. Um, these definitely fit amazing. They No breaking time is needed for these. You wear them and go, and they feel like you wore them for like 100 years. That's how comfortable these are. And these are at the same. Um, I broke these in a little more, but these are definitely a must cop in my opinion. Now let's talk about price. Prices, these retail for 150. These retail for 190, 200, 210 after tax. So you're looking at a 50, 60 dollar price increase from the racer to the uh, race to the Mac Vapor Max. Um is it worth it? In my opinion, 
I'm not going to give you guys it's worth it if you want it. No, I'm going to give you guys my real opinion. Is it worth it? I think it's definitely worth it, guys, because you're getting the new technology. Everything's new in this shoe. The fly net's updated. You know, the shoe's updated. The bottoms are updated. And it's just a comfortable shoe, guys. You guys just got to feel it for yourself. It is like you're walking on air, literally. You're just bouncing all over the place when you walk on these. These, any foam that you got will bottom out. It's going to feel comfortable for a while, and then all of a sudden, it's going to start bottoming out. Air will not bottom out. It's here to stay. It's here to last. It's durable. Now, something you guys are probably wondering is, is it going to be durable? Is this bottom going to be durable? Yes, it's going to be very durable. Um, you can't pop this. It's like a special rubber that they use. And you guys probably think, oh, this ain't going to pop, but, you know, it could rip right here, but this is thicker. So it's all up to you guys. Um, you do got, like, two years from Nike, and they'll replace it for free. So that's a plus on any shoe you get from Nike. And, yeah, that's basically it other than, oh, no, and something the same is the lacing system, but they use two fly wire compared to one fly wire on that. So, yeah, and this doesn't hug your foot. Like the racer does, like the Vapor Max does. The Vapor Max hugs your foot in this one. That you have a tongue. So if you guys don't like the booty construction and you want the free flowing tongue, then go with the racer. If you want this, um, so I'm gonna tell you guys what these are for. These are for somebody that just wants a shoe for a shoe, and it's comfortable shoe and stylish shoe, and that's it. These are for somebody that wants the newest of the new, the hypers of the hype, and, and one of the most comfortable shoes on the market right now for a premium price of $190. And something that's going to stand out and be something new and revolutionary, you're going with these. Somebody that wants a basic shoe, everyday shoe, you're going to go with these. So it's really up to you guys. These are both really comfortable. You really can't feel these on your feet. Um, these are definitely more flexible more flexible but that comes with the uh, air bubbles so yeah guys it's up to you but if i had to pick one if i had to pick one of these it would definitely be the vapor max let me know in the comments below if you have both of these what one do you guys pick guys i did this video because uh the vapor max videos have been doing really good on my channel so i'm gonna keep it up if you guys want to see any more vapor max videos let me know and guys like i said we have a giveaway going on all you guys have to do is subscribe to the channel turn on post notifications follow my instagram and come kind of done on the giveaway video. So all you guys gotta do, we are uploading every, like I said, we're uploading every Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, and Sunday. Hope you guys liked the video, guys. And if you did, make sure to like, comment, and of course, subscribe. Till next time, peace.